the fragrance. In the late 1950s, scientists accidentally discovered something that wasn't meant to exist. It was dubbed the frequency. The frequency works on a basing that prolonged exposure increases the signs of the symptoms of paranoid anxiety. For example, somebody who was exposed for 10 minutes would have less indication than a person exposed for one hour. This frequency was kept a secret. Should it be revealed, quite a bit of hysteria could be started up. Naturally, the scientists responsible for the frequency felt it necessary to test its effects on humans. The first test, which lasted about 12 minutes, showed no immediate effects, with the exception of some acute anxiety. Test 2 lasted 2 hours long. After going past the 20 minute mark, the subject seemed anxious, as observed in the previous test. For this test, the scientists took extra measures and strapped the subject to a chair. The test continued. After 45 minutes have passed, the subject seemed agitated. They stated that they were being bothered by some kind of fog in front of their eyes. We acknowledged in the individual's discomposure, while at the same time took notes on the effects of the frequencies inducing syndromes. One hour and 15 minutes on the timer, the subject appeared more stressed. The subject was constantly moaning and whining, while showing signs of delusion. The subject constantly doubted his head around the soundproof room, at random intervals. About 20 minutes later, the subject began to weep. When questioned by one of the scientists, he complained that these shadowy figures were standing in the fog. It should also be mentioned that the subject stopped moving around to stare at the wall the chair was facing. 15 minutes left on the timer. The subject suddenly broke into a full panic mode. They started rocking and making frantic facial gestures towards the scientists, begging them to end their suffering. They were constantly blattering that the shadows were walking out from the fog and that they were going to take them. 30 seconds left to take away. The subject's plastic movements freed them from their prison. They sprinted out of the test room. Before the scientists could stop them, the subject snatched a scalpel from the surgical table and grabbed the scientist nearest to him. The subject proceeded to drag the blade across the scientist's throat, ending their life. The subject then dug the scalpel into his own eyes and removed them from their sockets, in an attempt to hid himself of the images. Naturally, the tests were scrapped, and research was buried deep in the archives. I put your life at risk by waiting this long to tell you. You see, the so-called frequency is a low and loud hum. One cannot listen to it for too long. It is probably too late considering the time you've been on this site, trying to scare yourself. You are soon to experience what real fear is. Let's review the facts. It is generated in a place which would cause mass panic if discovered. It makes you feel fear and anxiety, and makes a low loud hum. All seems pretty damn inclusive to me. But wait, what's that sound coming from the device you are viewing this on?